ground. Blah. We'll just go one round. All right, cat cow. Get your arms away from your upper body. Butt away from your abs, right? Next one is hip hinge. All right, so we're gonna go wide stance. Is that? That's not a spider. Um, we're gonna go wide stance. We're gonna drop, touch floor, go overhead. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, hips go forward just a little bit. Every time you go forward, go forward just a little bit more. So, kids. What are the new songs everybody's listening to, right? We've been almost out, almost out like two months. There's gotta be new songs people listen to. I don't listen to new stuff. That's just me though. That's just me. Good. Um, we're gonna do our little pigeon pose with the move though. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll get to that pigeon position. We'll do halfway. Alright, so all I'm going to do is sit in that pigeon position. I'm moving back and forth in it. Alright, I'm going to do this for about 20 seconds and I'll switch out the other leg. Alright. I get a feeling Last one. Switch. If you haven't been, you should be foam rolling. You should be stretching on your own. Maybe institute some of the things we've been doing in warm ups like this that are relatively easy to do on your own as well. All right, uh, lying knee side to side. So we're gonna lay flat, pull your legs up. And then you're just going to, arms out, you're just going to, your knees fall to one side, fall to the other side. Right? If this is too much for you, just bring your knees closer to your chest, right? So you have a little more control over it. If this is easy for you and you really want a bigger challenge, Bring your legs up. Now, take your ankles to one side, right? And then ankles to the other side. All right. I need a feeling, yeah. We're gonna cross the lunge to side lunge. So, one leg is gonna be moving. All right, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna step all the way out with that same side. And then back. All the way out, same side. Back with my right leg, side lunge with my right leg. We're gonna do like two more probably on this side. 
Last one on this side. Now we're going to go other side. All right, remember to keep that front shin vertical. one here. Good. Now we're going to drop in place. Easy one. Never, 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 never had before. All it is, is we're just gonna do this. And I'm gonna start this over. recording it's saying low internet connection so I don't know <clears throat> player player all right now let's go right into jumping jacks all right. maybe you don't feel warm yet Maybe it's slow like this. If you do, arms overhead. All right, so it's not. This is, yes, you're moving if you do this. But I'm gonna get way more out of that. Is it harder? Sure, right? I've increased what the demand is. Right, so I just changed the variable, right, which most people, plank jacks, which most people only equate to change the variable is go faster or heavier, right? How about have a longer lever arm? So, build that plank, out, in, out, in. Try not to push your hips up and down, right? So it's just pop, pop. <sighs> Obviously, they have to go up and down for you to get your feet off the ground because your feet are going up, right? So they have to go up and down. Your hips have to go up and down a little bit, but that doesn't mean Use them to launch your feet out. Uh, all right, so we're going frontal plane jacks now. So now, left leg, right arm are up. I'm gonna switch it. All right, you can go, I'm bushwhacking it, right? <laughs> if you wanna go faster, you can. I'm not gonna. Right. I'm going to get a little bit better range of motion instead of going faster. Maybe we'll do both. Good. Alright, so here's what we have today. Two groups of four exercises. All right, two groups of four exercises. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, four times around. Then, if we have time, you got a little, little thing at the end. All right, so you're gonna have your work period, rest period, one-to-one -one ratio. So it's gonna get your heart rate up, but it's not gonna kill you either. Um, and some of these exercises are not necessarily meant to kill, kill you. They're meant to give you some strength benefit, meant to give you some cardiovascular benefit. Again, we're trying to move, um, trying to preserve the strength that we have, gain a little bit, maybe if we don't have it. Um, 
yeah, and allow us to get better within this dormant period, if that's what you want to call it. So, here we go, let me... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So, in a minute we'll go. We'll go in a minute here. I'll show you the exercises as we go because we have 30 seconds to rest, right? So, we got one minute and then we're gonna get going. Our first exercise is that power push up, that one where we're on the ground. And. Okay, okay, buddy. Uh, one where we're on the ground. And we're gonna push back, right? Um, and our legs are gonna go back with us. So, I'm here, right? And then my end is actually here, right? So from here, here. That's our first move. I, I might as well go through. Our second move, um, high knee march, right? So I'm here, I'm gonna pull my knee up, pull my knee up, touch with my hands, right? Overhead, overhead. So if I want to, I can hop it, right? But I still want to get that high knee. So the first two, I'll show you the next two here in a second. All right, here we go. That power push up, let's go. Then sit back. So use that push up to start going backwards. Use that push forward with your legs to start going down. This one we want to be a little bit rhythmic. Good. All right, our next one is that high knee march. If you want to amp it up, make it kind of like a running man, where you go up and down. All right, if you want to stay at this level, overhead, touch, overhead, touch, overhead, so your abs lengthen, and then you basically crunch them through. All right, so it's an ab exercise, we want to open the abs too. All right, so first round, I'm just gonna go here. All right, because remember, we got four rounds of this. exercises are this little lateral bounce into a squat and then a plank to push up so we're basically gonna go from here boom 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 squat boom 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 squat all right just like that all right move this guy three two one all right, two feet, two feet, two feet, squat. Two feet, two feet, two feet, squat. Good. Like to push up in 30. Good. 
Now we go back to the beginning. All right, that power push-up. So in that plank to push-up, to make it more effective, when you come back down into this position, make your elbow hit the ground first, not your hand. So don't get your hand on the ground and then roll your elbow. Get your elbow and then roll your hand to the ground. All right, you'll notice next round, when you focus on that, your abs turn on a little more. All right, power push-up. Here we go. You got a little high knee march. If you want running man it, running man it. We get stuck, we get stuck in gym movements, all right? And then we become less pliable in real movement. So with this stuff, instead of getting stuck in gym movements, I'm trying to get you to move in all kinds of different directions so you're good at that, which is what you're gonna do outside of the gym. Here we go, shuffles. So bounce, bounce, squat. Bounce, bounce, squat. Bounce, bounce, squat. If you have problems going laterally, maybe it's just bounce, bounce, squat. Bounce, bounce, squat. Last one. to push up. Remember that cue I gave you. Land elbow first, back down on the ground, not hand first. All right, so it goes boom, boom. Trust me on it, it changes things. Three, two, here we go. Back to the beginning for round three. Back to that power push up.
back to my march. Right? I'm not going to go into the running man. I do not need the running man right now. If you want to amp it up, feel free. Feel free to amp it up. I'm going to. Everyone equates going faster to being better, right? And in certain, in certain, uh, good, in certain positions, that makes sense, right? But if, is this better, right? Is that better than this? <clears throat> I would disagree. Um, and the reason is because I get a bigger range of motion. It's actually more challenging. And so I will get rewarded. Oh, oh shoot, shuffle, shuffle, squat. I will get rewarded by becoming stronger, right? By getting more lean muscle or getting more cardiovascular benefit from my bigger range of motion and my more challenging exercise, right? We all think, oh, to make it harder, just go faster. Good, maybe you're going faster, didn't make it harder, it changed the exercise, right? So now it's no longer that same exercise anyway. It's some weird, Uh, coagulated version of a movement we thought we were doing. Right. Uh, Planks push up. Because I'll tell you right now. Even people who are really well versed at exercise do that, right? They start making, making good, one more round. They start making some remixed version of an exercise that is no longer that exercise. So you're not getting the same benefit from it. You might get a benefit from it, but you're not getting the same benefit from that exercise when you change the parameters. So when you shorten the range of motion, when you change the momentum, right, the degrees of momentum, those are no longer the same exercises. All right, let's get our push up. Last one of these. This move is not the same as a one, one, one tempo push-up. They're not the same exercises. They're not gonna benefit you the same way, right? Just with this is not the same as what I was just doing, right? They may look the same, but they aren't the same. So try to, try to figure out a way through that exercise to do more of them or to do them faster, we gotta get that out of our head. That's not how, that's not how you get stronger. You might get stronger because of it, right? But that's not the best way to get stronger, right? That's not the smartest way to get stronger. Right? And then you gotta look at how much stronger am I gonna get doing it that way? Right? If I do half push ups and I do a ton of them, good, I'm gonna get stronger. Right? I'm gonna get stronger because I'm doing something. 
But if I don't focus on doing full push-ups under control, I do not get the benefit of doing full push-ups under control. Right? You just you don't earn that. And that's what you'll see. A lot of people are like, oh, shuffle, shuffle. A lot of people are like, oh, I can do a hundred push-ups. No, you can't. No, you can't. Try to jump both feet off the ground at the same time. You can do a hundred crappy push-ups. And I wouldn't even call them push-ups. Make up another name for them, because that's not what they are, right? So don't say you can do 100 push-ups when you don't have control of the down, right? You spend five seconds, eight seconds up in some weird rest position, so you can get another one of your falling push-ups and just get back up somehow. Nice push-up. Listen, we are all victims to this whole thing, right? We've been educated that more is better, right? When in ultimate reality, good, we got two minutes. In ultimate reality, better is better, right? You're more, you're more, you lowered the goalposts, right? You, you lowered them and made them wider, right? So all of a sudden, you don't have to, you don't have to kick it well to, to get your goal. You don't have to kick it well, all right? So that's the problem. Right, we decide to change the goalposts so it's easier. So it's easier to get what we want, to get what we want. So now, these are my parameters or these are my values that I hold true with the thing that I want. Now, if I decide, if I decide to say these are my values, but Right, this is my values, but I'll take this and that. Yeah, that's fine too. And so is this, and so is this. And we do that with this. All of a sudden, the benefit, because we're taking this much leeway, the benefit becomes much smaller and smaller. Right now, I don't have the perfect analogy for that right now, but if I take any if I start taking any answers, that means I'm not getting the right answer, right? Does that make sense? All right, so we got four more. All right, we got four more. There's a prone angel. I'll show, you, I'll show you what they are as we go, just so we can get this done, because we're going in 13 seconds. So prone angel, we're going all the way overhead and then all the way behind our back. So arms are in line with the ears, just like this, right? And then we go boom, 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 boom. And I'm gonna flip them to go back like that. All right, so now you go all the way around, flip your hands over, try to meet your wrists on your forearms. That is ridiculous for me. <laughs> Good, I hate that. Okay, this one is side plank, and then we're gonna reach under. So you can go on your elbow, on your hand, I don't care which one you do. We're gonna reach high if you need this foot to start in front, that's okay, right? But squeeze ass tight, we're gonna reach high, we're gonna reach under. 
High and under. All one side. First round. Right elbow on the ground. All right, this next one, we're alternating legs, right? So we're gonna start, and we're gonna basically hop over, a, uh, let's call it a, over a rope, to get to the other side, right? So this leg has to go over the rope. The other leg just has to hop, right? All right, so your rope can be here, it can be here, I don't care. So this is a shuffle back, shuffle forward. So I'm gonna think here, 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 here. We'll start with, we'll start with our right foot forward this first round. So it's a two step forward. When I'm back like this, hands go through. When I'm forward, hands go up, right? Here, two steps, one, two, one, and back. Don't put pressure on that back foot when you're back. Keep it on the front. Good. Then we go back to the beginning. Back to those prone angels. Try to keep your chest off the ground. Mother. My arms are not fans of that. They ain't fans. Side plank, we're going on the left side this time. Here we go. 
Good. That's our last one. Now, left foot's gonna be forward. All right, and then we got our two step. So this is one of those rhythm and timing things as well. All right, left foot forward, right foot back. We're going forward two steps. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Pressure on the front leg, on the back side. Hinge, hinge. Organize. Movement. Learn how to decelerate. Don't just try to move, right? Every aspect of the movement. All right, let's go back to, I don't remember what I was, oh, this guy, round three. All right, so your backside, so this is what it should look like, right? So switch your hands out every time. All right, here we go. Here we go. The floor. Oh. Ignore. What's that line that your arm is going through, right? Is it here or do you take the easy route, right? Over, tuck, and back. Straight through, right? Hop, 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 hop. Ooh. The floor. The trail. A pill. The sun. Sorry. Understand how to land on that one foot. Right? When we're going laterally, side to side, on one foot, if you stomp the ground, that ain't where you want to end up. Right? You want to figure out how to cushion that landing. Right? So get into the musculature of that leg. Right foot forward. Step through.
One more round. May have time. May have time. I don't think so. We'll have, we'll have a minute after this, but I'll, I'll run a little bit over. Um, bro, I'll run a little bit over to get to get that through. Here we go. Good. Side plank. Left side. I'm sweating, but it ain't as much as yesterday. Not even close. <clears throat> Not even close. Yesterday was rough. With like Emma and Brittany. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Boom, boom, over tuck. saying that you should be in bad form, but you should be able to move your body pretty well. I should be able to see this without my neck hurting, right? And if I can't, I need to ask myself why, right? What makes it so that I can't see my hand, I can't turn my head. Right? Maybe it's because I'm not strong enough. Maybe it's because my body has lost range of motion. Right? I'm going to tell you right now, have you ever gone to sleep and your neck hurts and you can't turn your head all the way over this way? I have. Right? Your body is decreasing its ability to move. Right? Why? Sometimes it's protection. Right? Sometimes it's lack of movement. Sometimes it's because you don't ever visit that range of motion. So why would your body adapt to getting there? Right? There's no reason for your body to use energy to give you that range of motion if it never goes there. Good rest. Right? No reason if it never goes there. Why? Why would it? Why would it maintain the ability to do that? Ten seconds, then we start with that left foot forward. Right foot back, arms back. Here we go. Two, one, two steps. Boom, boom. one. Good. Alright, so here's how this one works. Last little bit. Very, very simple. Two exercises. There's a jump and there's a mountain climber. We're going down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Period. That's it. Alright, so this might take us Three minutes, tops. All right, so 10 squat jumps, 10 mount counters aside. Nine squat jumps, nine mount counters aside. Down to one. Very easy, right? Simple. All right, this is the last thing of the day. All right? Three minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a timer on just to see where we finish. All right, 10 jumps, 10 mount counters. Here we go, I'm actually set go. 
Arms up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten double fingers. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. Remember, if you feel you're landing it right, slow down. Right on time. That was perfect. That was wonderful. All right, so the end of that. Grab a wall, left hand, left ankle, pull it back. Definitely needed after that, all right? Hip flexor, hip flexor, hip flexor. So the sides, all right, that jump into that mount climber, Hip flexor, hip flexor, hip flexor. All right, so now I'm going to go into a uh, half kneeling position. That backside leg, I'm going to bring that same side arm up, over. All right, now I'm going to push my hips forward just a little bit. And I'll get even more up in top. Switch sides. All right, you have to understand what the demand was and how to reduce that demand after it's happened. All right, so squat jumps, mountain climbers, really big this move, right? Really big this. 
All right, so this guy starts to close off. So in order to help that expand and keep my range of motion, I'm gonna to try to open it a little bit. So now you see this guy is open. I push my hips forward, I open that up even more. I bring my arm up over my head, I open it up even more. I lean to the other side, I open it up even more. All right, kids, 